It took seven months to make it, but in Wilkins Township, a man's final wish has come true. It is a one-of-a-kind final resting place born out of his passion for a game. John Shumway has a story new at six. Tony Garino has forgotten more about bowling and bowling balls than most of us will ever know. You need a plastic ball for your spares or they come out with resin urethane now. His passion for the game instilled by his father and his uncle. Just the thrill of uh, the competition, trying to knock down 10 pins. A 10 pin league love affair that has lasted for more than 40 years. That's generated countless friendships and a lot of near misses before one perfect game with a storm bowling ball. I was just amazed at it when I threw that. So you can imagine his heartbreak when he was told that he can never play the game again. My lower back um, is um, all cancer cells all the way into my pelvis. Um, if I twist wrong or I step wrong, I fracture my back, I'm done. 48 years old, Tony was diagnosed with terminal prostate cancer four years ago, just after he married Stacy. And together, they have endured all that comes with a downhill slide despite chemo and endless treatments. So it was only natural that they would together plan for the inevitable. Honey, I says, I've been with Storm for 15 years, Storm Bowling. I says, I'm curious, would they make an urn for me? Oh, and not just any urn. A bowling ball urn. I bowled for how many years? Why not be buried in a bowling ball for the rest of my life? When Tony started telling his friends about the plan. You're kidding with me. You're, are you serious? Once Stacy knew he was serious. I looked him up on my phone and I called Storm Bowling. On the other end, Mike Sargent said they had never made an urn before but they were honored to do so. When the storm urn arrived, Stacy was home alone and opened the box. And I looked at it and I started to cry because I thought I knew what was coming, but still it's like something so final and it's, you know, it's kind of scary. But despite the reality of the situation and a lack of insurance since he had to quit his job, Tony still <laughs> smiles when he thinks about his bowling friend's reaction when they said they wanted to use it once he's inside. To actually show me how revolutions were put on a bowling ball, uh, how to throw a hook. No, absolutely not. Instead, it will go in Tony's ball bag with the ball his father used and his favorite ball. And he'll go in the third slot on top, so he's number one. But between now and then, Tony holds out hope. Maybe someday I'll be able to throw a bowling ball one or two times before I pass away. So what the doctor says. In Wilkins Township, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.